Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this question, we're going to be solving for the value of x, given that 6 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x all over 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 36. Notice that from the numerator, 6 to the power of x is common, so we can factor out 6 to the power of x. Then we'll put bracket 6 to the power x divided by 6 to the power x is 1 plus this divided by this is 1 plus this divided by this is also 1. Good. All over. Now the denominator 2 to the power of x is common, so we can factor that out. Open bracket. Now 2 to the power x divided by 2 to the power x is 1 plus 2 to the power x divided by 2 to the power x is also 1. And this is equal to 36. Now when we simplify further, we have 6 to the power x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 all over. Now the denominator, we have 2 to the power x times 1 plus 1 is 2. And this is equal to 36. Very good. Now, we can separate this. I'm going to be writing this first. This is 3 over 2. So, 3 over 2 multiplied by. Now, notice that 6 to the power x and 2 to the power x, they both have the same exponent, which is x. So, I can group them together to be 6 over 2, all raised to the common exponent, that is x. And this is equal to 36. Now, notice that we can get rid of this 3 over 2 by multiplying both sides by its inverse. The inverse of 3 over 2 is 2 over 3. Now, we'll multiply both sides by 2 over 3. So, 2 over 3 multiplied by 3 over 2 times. Now, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now, to the power of x. And this is equal to, now I'll also use this, which is 2 over 3 multiplied by 36. Very good. Now see that this 2 cancels out this 2. 3 cancels out 3. Now we are left with 3 to the power of x to be equal to, now watch, 3 here 1, 3 here is 12. And 12 times 2 gives 20. So we have been able to simplify our equation from this to a simpler one. Now, whenever we have an exponent here and the exponent is the unknown, what we usually do next is to take the log of both sides. So I'll take the log of 3 to the power of x equal to, I'll also take the log of 24. Now, I'll apply the power law of logarithm that says, when I have the log of a to the power of p, this can be expressed as p times log a. So we can rewrite this like this as x log 3. This is equal to the log of, now 24 can be broken down into 3 times 8. Very good. And now looking at what we have here, this looks like this identity, log A times B, which can be expressed as the log of A plus the log of B. So we can express this like this. So we have X log 3 to be equal to, now this can be written as log 3 plus log 8. Very good. And then simplifying further, we have x log 3 to be equal to log 3 plus log. Now, we're going to be breaking down 8. 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3. Good. So we can simplify further. So we have x log 3 to be equal to log 3 plus. Now, also applying the power law of logarithm here. So this will be 3 times log 2. Very good. And since we're looking for the value of x, 
all we have to do is to divide through by log 3. So I'll divide this by log 3, divide this by log 3, and divide this by log 3. So this will result to log 3 cancels out, leaving behind x to be equal to log 3 divided by log 3 is 1 plus, so this will be 3 log 2 all over log 3. Very good. Now, lastly, we're going to be applying an identity of log within that says when I have log A divided by log B, this can be expressed as log A base B. That's the law of change of base. We can apply this to what we have here. So our final answer now becomes x equal to 1 plus 3. Now writing this like this, we have log 2 is 3. And there you have it. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. Like I always say, until next time, take care.